Hey there. My name is Mike. I'm going to be telling you a little bit about this gorgeous guitar you see in front of you today. This guitar has an alder body, a set neck maple neck, an ebony fretboard with 29 jumbo stainless steel frets, features a custom fan fret hip shot bridge as well as hip shot locking tuners, has a bone nut, a nunchucker humbucker in the bridge position, and an old school single coil in the neck. I'll have all the specs down below in the description if you want to check more out as well. This guitar has a fan fret system. Um, it has a 25 and a half inch scale length on the treble side and a 27.8 inch scale on the bass side. What this accomplishes it is you have more tension on the lower string which is necessary for lower tunings and a normal feel up top so you can actually bend the strings and it's more comfortable. This guitar is very ergonomic, it's easy to get around. Um, as someone who had never played a fan fret guitar in his life, this thing came and it took me about half an hour to get used to. Um, if it seems like it's difficult for anyone, it's not. Uh, it's pretty uh, intuitive when I first got it. This guitar also has 29 frets so I can get up to the high A and an insanely big cutout so I can get really get up there up to the high register. As a left-handed guitarist, it was always hard to find high-end guitars and anything that was really worthwhile, and to find a guitar like this was surprisingly easy. Um, I joined a Facebook group about a year and a half to two years ago, and specs were determined for these guitars, and final production was set. These guitars were built by World Instruments in South Korea. This brand also manufactures uh, guitars like the Strandberg Bowdens, as well as higher end LTDs and a few other brands too. Um, they are one of the top import uh, companies in the world. Uh, this guitar plays absolutely beautifully. Um, I own a Carvin DC 800 made in the USA and an Ibanez Prestige made in Japan as well. And this guitar just blows them out of the water. As far as playability goes, it's effortless. Um, it's one of those guitars that you can feel yourself getting better as you play. It's uh, really, really a privilege to play it. First I'll show each tone. This is going to be the bridge position. Now with the coil tap. Now the middle position. That coil tap as well. Now the neck. This guitar is very versatile. You can play anything from some jazzy licks on this thing to classic rock, metal of course, which it's intended for, um, as well as pretty much anything in between. Um, with the different tone options, there's really so much you can get to, and it's a really nice, mellow-sounding guitar. Just to show you some simple examples, this is going to be a uh, kind of ambient, spacey patch. Um, I'm playing this through my Fractal Audio XFX2, which is played through a Carvin Legacy in the effects loop using a 212 cab with Celestian Vintage 30s. So here we go.
and I'll be playing roughly that same lick with a lead tone over it in the effects loop. <laughs> Thanks everyone for checking out this video. Uh, for all the specs, links, and anything you need to know, I'll have it down here in the description. Otherwise, feel free, leave a like, a share, and a comment on it if you have any questions.